So the difficulty comes with um, basically when I said, yeah, I'll go to the top. So it's, as you can see, it's a, it's a high wall. So that's one thing, actually physically getting up and down the ladder. Um, the other thing is the nature of the wall. If the wall isn't rendered so it's flat, so you're dealing with the brickwork, so it's undulating the whole time. Sometimes that's handy if you're sort of breaking it up down by the snow. But yeah, I mean, the, the difficulties are you're painting outside, so the sun's on you. Um, that drives the paint quicker. You have to work quicker, thin it down. Um, and if it rains, rain stops play most of the time. I mean, it's waterproof paint, so you can actually paint in it, but uh, I'm not that hardened anymore. And is it one of the biggest works you've done? There, there, there have been bigger paintings, um, probably not as high. Um, when I started off sort of leaving college, um, I did a, the interior of a swimming pool, which was, I think the pool itself was 20 metres long, so the, the painting would have been 20 metres long, but I was only going up perhaps two metres. So the size of things don't, don't ever kind of bother me, um, but climbing up ladders, hanging off ropes, adds a fun element to it, I think, yeah. And in terms of how you chose what to paint, did you use your idea or Joanna's idea or did you I come sense. up with it together? It, well, it had to be based on skiing. Obviously, Joanna's uh, business is all about skiing, skiing holidays. So, um, with my background, having been in Chamonix for uh, 14 odd years, really, um, most of my work uh, sort of in the portfolio is, is snow orientated. So, Joanna had a good sort of choice to look at. But what we did was mock up, I think, seven or eight um, different scenarios. I mean, ultimately, if you're painting in the public, even though it's Joanna's wall you have to be sympathetic to everybody else around you so my ideas were that firstly bright colorful with the people in their ski gear but with with the backdrop if you keep that lovely and subtle you're not you're not going to upset too many people I mean you know at the end of the day nobody's going to be too offended if you've got a, a scene where you feel like you can almost drift off and have a ski into so it, it it did take a little bit of thought. I mean, you know, I could have had a lot of fun and gone big and brash, but at the end of the day, I don't want it painted over in the next couple of months. So it was a combination. Me and Joanna sat down and yeah, we, we, I mean, the scenario was, let's keep it fun, light. Um, but the main thing was, I really wanted to stay away from calling it like a mural or, or even street art, even though I'm on the street. So, so what do you call it? It's a painting, a very big painting. And the way I'm handling it is the same as I'd handle a canvas as well. So, I'm, you know, I'm putting the background in, um, in the same technique that, that I use on a canvas. Hopefully then people will, you know, once people are stopping and staring, that's the idea as well, from the end of the avenue, if people catch the painting, it will look like a painting and not something that's um, perhaps not been commissioned. Perhaps it's just some <laughs> bunch of kids that have come along and had a bit of fun. It had to be a piece of artwork as opposed to graffiti or street art, I think, yeah. And what have people been saying? You mentioned people sort of stop and have a look at you, presumably ask you what you're up to. What are they saying about it so far? Um, today, I haven't had a, a bad word, which, you know, that helps you go along. Um, it's mostly, um, what are you doing? <laughs> Who are you doing it for? But mostly, great, that's fantastic, that's that's good. And even with the, the locals that live in the area, um, I mean, this is, I think, the fifth or sixth day, so they've seen it progress. And like anything, if you actually see, uh, there's one thing to walk past the street and see a, a whacking great big painting, but for people that live around here to actually see day by day things achieving, um, it adds interest. And pretty much the same people are passing by every day, passing comments, and so far all been good. And you mentioned you've been doing it for almost a week now. How long is it going to take you in total? Obviously, it depends on the weather a little bit, but how long are you sort of allowing for? Head, I've budgeted kind of four weeks. That incorporates a bit of rain. Um, I can't really do the weekends because my gallery is actually open at the weekend. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're talking about sort of 20 days worth of work. And it gets to the point where, um, I mean, already the painting's changed slightly from the original design I gave Joanna. The, the you know, there's people going in down below skiing, which I just think adds the more people you put in people are going to stop they're going to wonder who they are maybe it's them skiing so the more people i can actually add into that picture it, it's just going to be a better picture and finally how long is it going to last for obviously it's exposed to the elements be it the sun and the rain but how long do you how long do you think about a week or so no, I mean, I'm using hammerite paint, so it's this paint that you will put onto, um, you know, railings and stuff outside. It's like anything, I mean, I've said to Joanna, look, you know, you're going you're gonna to get definitely five years out of it, you'll probably get ten years out of it. It's a south-facing wall, so it gets the sun. It, the actual nature of the, of the news, you know, you're not going to get driving rain on it, but, it, you know, it, it's, it's got a good ten years' life in it.